So the final round. Flanagan has found it hard work tonight against Petrov, who has just kept on coming. And now in this last round, he's going to have to produce something inspired. Well, he needs the round of his career here, Petrov, doesn't he? He's had 44 contests. He's fought for a world title before against Marcus Madonna and beaten. He's knocked out in the fourth round in that one, so he's got to produce the punch of his career. He's been brave, give credit. And he's made it he's made it difficult for Flanagan tonight. It's easy to say Flanagan's not really produced a vintage performance. I'm sure Terry would say that himself, but it would be giving scant regard for what Petrov's delivered. It was a perfect one-two there from Flanagan, that was super box in there, range, measured, one-two, in and out. That's what his coach wanted in that corner, the in and out work. Petrov is trying to take this last round. If it is close, he needs this one to give himself a chance. And he's the one who's forcing it so far. Oh, excellent work again from Flanagan, just keeping his man off balance. There, there you see Petrov is trying to attack, he's trying to launch the attack, but as he's thinking about it, there's those straight shots from Flanagan. One, two, straight jabs, keeping his opponent off balance, good boxing again, in and out. Good balance as well. Excellent work there from Flanagan. So is this remarkable undefeated run of Terry Flanagan going to continue? 32 fights in a professional career, didn't have much of an amateur career. He's worked his way up from the small halls. Turned pro with Steve Wood as a 19-year-old and has worked his way up to becoming a professional world champion. And is the winning run going to continue? Well, I think Petrov has shown, shown in bursts here, in the odd periods through rounds, John, that out of boxing, you've got to get up close to Terry Flanagan, but then you've got to work, you've got to create the space. Flanagan holds and waits for the referee to come in and say, break. Petrov may be just that wee bit too one pace. Yeah, it's exactly. that kind of style, but yes. to be able to go through gears. Step away, Peter. Step away. You've got to find that room on the inside. But a lot of the rounds have been tight, and Petrov still keeps coming in the last few seconds in this final round. Flanagan up onto his toes, trying to fight from range, but caught by a right uppercut from Petrov, and a great show of respect between the two of them. They know that was hard, that it was gruelling, but Flanagan, by the look of him, thinks that he's just about done enough. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. The judges score this contest. Terry O'Connor at 116. 1-1-2. Mikhail Hook scored the contest 120 to 108. And Zoltan and Yedi 118 to 110. For the winner, by unanimous decision. And still the WBO Language Champion of the World! Joe Terry Flanagan! So Flanagan gets it. I find 120, 108 a wee bit hard to fathom because that doesn't really give very much to Petrov. The judge who was sitting right in front of us, Terry O'Connor, had it much closer to how Richie had it, 116 to 112. The third judge, 118, 110. But the statistic which really matters is that Terry Flanagan makes it 33 wins out of 33 and he is still the world champion.